Hello everybody, Janet here with Radiant Realty. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while and don't be shy. I love answering your questions, reading your comments below, and if you're looking to buy or sell property in Montana or a home, reach out. I would love to help you. So today we are going to Whitefish Mountain. We are just going to head up there and I'm going to give you um, just a point of view of some of the runs on the mountain today. So let's get going. So I just got off chair a absolutely beautiful views right now. So I'm going to try to head down Big Ravine and catch chair one right there and see if we can make it onto inspiration um, while it's still clear and we have those amazing views. And the trees are coated with the snow like that. They call them snow ghosts. So Big Ravine actually starts up at the summit, so we're not getting quite the full run, but most of it and beautiful views for this run today. This one is a leg burner, but it comes in sections, so it's easy to do a section at a time, take a break, enjoy the views, and then do it again. If you go straight right here, that will take you over to chair two, but we're not gonna do that right now. Okay, section one complete. Enjoy those views a minute. Chad loves to go in these trees here. Lots of times he can find powder in those. Great views of the village, Whitefish Lake there. If you're interested in property on Whitefish Lake, let me know, I'd be happy to help you out. Oh, looks like the clouds are rolling in. I wonder if we're going to be able to beat them over to inspiration. Hellroar and Saloon right there. You can get a giant plate of nachos, share it with the entire family. The burgers always smell great. Mm -hmm. 
Chair two to the right there. We're gonna go to chair one over to the left and try to catch inspiration before those clouds roll in. If you leave the mountain at 4 p.m. on a Saturday, which is when it closes and then it'll reopen for night skiing, uh, prepare for traffic stops down the mountain, but not bad views to enjoy while we wait. Whitefish leaves their Christmas decorations up through February, usually that winter break weekend. They take them down after that. I absolutely love it. I think it just brightens the town throughout the winter. Mm -hmm. 